Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays the Bye. I don't want to do a blue baby run, Mom. Uh, well, we'll try it out anyway, right? Blue baby always leads to some interesting dynamics. I'm a little bit worried. I wouldn't necessarily say nervous. Uh, you know, I, I'm past the point where I get nervous when starting a Binding of Isaac run. In fact, the only thing I really have to be nervous about is that I'm gonna say something ridiculous on camera and then it will follow me around forever. But you know what? I don't have a lot of really ridiculous opinions, so I think the chances of that are pretty low. It's pretty ridiculous how he just blew himself up with a bomb. Uh, it was also pretty ridiculous how that did, like, what, one one-hundredth of his total HP? But sure, you know, we'll, you know, you gotta take what you get and leave the rest. And we're hopefully gonna leave the rest of his body, uh, in a state where even his family won't necessarily be able to, uh, identify it. But hopefully we get, like, Mr. Mega here. I guess that's what we want. Eh, the two bombs is alright, too, because we basically need them in order to get extra health right now as a result of the... Uh, tinted rocks that we'll hopefully come across as time goes on, but for now, you know, last run as Isaac went really well. Got an extremely lucky Polyphemus on the chest that allowed us to win after picking up Miter and Relic, but it wasn't always gonna be easy. We got very few HP upgrades over the course of the entire run, and to be honest with you, uh, I probably overall got pretty lucky to survive long enough to get the items that actually gave me a chance at victory, but uh, that's uh, Isaac in a nutshell sometimes. No, this, this is Isaac in a nutshell. <laughs> like, the guy just cries all the time. Get over it. It's like, we've all been hunted down by our parents because of, like, probably paranoid schizophrenia. Just get over it, right? Um, anyway, I don't mean to mock mental illness uh, at all. I'm, I'm, I'm very sensitive to the topic and the, the needs of people who, you know, suffer or uh, know people who suffer from mental illness. It's not intending to make light of it. Don't twist my words, and if I offended you, then I apologize for that. Uh, I really really can't afford to be doing things like taking damage, at least reliably, against uh, Larry Jr. What's odd about this is that the thing that's most scary for me on this fight is the fucking neutral fly. If it was not for the neutral fly, I would feel pretty safe, all things considered here. Uh, unfortunately, because that neutral fly does exist, uh, I find myself, yep, getting hemmed in, and there's an awful lot of poop on this fight as well for a fight that doesn't necessarily normally contain it. Now, this would all be fine if uh, we actually ended up in a situation where maybe we were fighting Blue Larry Jr. You know, my favorite film starring Brooke Shields and also that dude who was starring in that movie with Brooke Shields. Um, but I have no way to get Spirit Hearts after this is over, so losing one-third of my overall health is pretty bad. Now, we might be able to compensate by getting an HP upgrade or by getting a coin purse, uh, which you know, could actually be really amazing. Obviously, when you're playing as Blue Baby, HP upgrades get super devalued because they're effectively the same as just getting a uh, Spirit Heart. But a uh, coin purse that maybe contains a Balls of Steel pill or other attributes is actually moves up in the meta as a result. Bombs are key is the first one. That's actually okay for now. Full health? What? Full health actually gave us uh, hearts there. I didn't think full health worked at all. So we got a, a Spirit Heart and a range upgrade and then a spirit heart down. So we got a range upgrade, and, you know, bombs are key. Bombs are key is a little bit of a weird trade-off, because, you know, obviously we need bombs to access tinted rocks, but we need keys to access item rooms, and, you know, shops and libraries where we could potentially get items uh, that drastically improve our chances of success. Beats me, man. Let's hope we have a good... <sighs> I, was, I was gonna finish the sends, but as soon as I saw that it was just a range upgrade, I got so disheartened that I was like, whatever. Uh, a range upgrade is... You know how BizSnap feels about speed upgrades? Many of you probably don't, but if you don't know how BizSnap feels about speed upgrades, it's basically like, you know, it, it's not an objective positive thing, it's just kind of like a thing. You know, a speed upgrade can be good, a speed upgrade can be bad, it's more what you're comfortable with and, and where you are on a run. I kind of feel that way about range upgrades, is like, in very few niche circumstances, for example if you have number one, uh, range upgrades real real useful, uh, but I don't know, base range is kind of totally fine, so uh, I don't necessarily feel like this is a, a huge coup for us to pick this up. I'm mostly going through the motions on the rest of this room in the hopes that maybe we end up coming across, uh, you know, another consumable when this is over, in particular a bomb, maybe uh, a key or uh, just a spirit heart dropping randomly would be nice as well. I thought maybe we could fight Larry Jr. that's uh, the blue version, but I guess not. Oh well, so be it. As long as we don't take any damage uh, here, I think it was still worth going to this room. I mean, having a range upgrade is sort of better than not having it, but it, it makes such a little difference that uh, I almost didn't even want to come to the room. But at the very least, by going through this, and you can see, like, our damage is not spectacular either, obviously, but um, at the very least, by going through this, and we did pick up a red chest that gave us Guppy's head. That was well worth it then. Um, but to finish my f thought, finally, by going through this, 
Um, I guarantee myself that I will not uh, get that range upgrade again in the future, so that's good. Guppy's head is not a great pickup, uh, but in many ways, it's actually a little bit reassuring to have uh, the chance to become Guppy as a blue baby, or on a blue baby run, I should say. And I say that because, you know, we can be a little bit more... Oh, that was really bad. We can be a little bit more aggressive about taking something like nine lives, knowing that we only effectively lose spirit hearts. I mean, mind you, uh, one spirit heart is still way worse than one and a half spirit hearts uh, in a situation like this, but maybe not when you have nine lives at one heart and uh, only one life at one and a half hearts, if you know what I mean. So we probably won't be able to get a deal with the devil here. Even if we do, we probably won't be able to get any items uh, inside of it. Can we? I don't even know. If I walk into this by accident, it might kill me, so I guess we just walk out instead. Uh, and I'll pick up the cube of meat. Cube of meat is, again, because it's not an HP upgrade, it goes up a little bit higher in the meta when you're playing as Blue Baby, I think. It's a weird run. We've got um, a lot of negative things working against us right now, namely that I have such little HP, of course. Uh, but there's the chance for, you know, positive stuff to happen here. We still have an item room and possibly a shop. We have golden poop, we have a champion. The golden poop is going to be counterfeit penny. Which is great if we find the secret room. If we find the secret room, this may uh, give us a much greater chance of getting the amount of money that we actually need in order to, uh, even just with, like random penny drops, uh, the amount of money we need to actually go to the shop and buy something. Wow, very lucky. Um, not all of those panned out uh, with counterfeit penny, but that's okay. There is also, oh, come on, be good. Uh, that's not so bad, I guess. Um, We'll take Spelunker's hat, that'll allow us to find the secret room more easily. It's not X-ray goggles good, but it's okay. And I think we do go to our shop, just in case. The secret room is adjacent to... Oh, I hate when that happens. But at the very least, we can buy a spirit heart here. Um, I do want to take the left hand with me, like, after this floor. I think that's the right way to do it, because we do kind of want to make the best possible chance of becoming Guppy, I think. that's Now that we already have one piece of the puzzle, I think that's how we start to structure this run. At least give ourselves a better chance of that. Uh, and obviously we can't afford to do that there. Was there a bomb for sale? I think at this point... Actually, we should take Counterfeit Penny. If there's a bomb for sale, we'll use it on the first secret room, because the second secret room could just have red hearts, or it could just have, um... I'm trying to think. I think we can bomb our way in this way. I always forget how it works on the shop. Okay, we can. And we find the Unicorn Horn, which, to be honest with you, is probably a lot better than, uh... Guppy's head at this point, and I think we're just gonna buy our spirit heart, and we're gonna leave counterfeit penny on the floor, and we're gonna take, uh, we're gonna take the left hand with us. I hope I was not just, like, completely abandoning, uh, the train of thought that I had going on there. You know what? Now with the unicorn horn, we can play Demon Judgment and maybe get very, very lucky. Uh, yeah, basically, I'm gonna try to become Guppy, and with the left hand, that gives us the best possible chance. We may or may not ever have- Wow! Okay! Maybe we actually have a great chance. We got two out of three guppy items right here. Just by using the unicorn horn, I guaranteed myself not to take damage, but I didn't guarantee myself a payout, but he paid out on like the second or first play. Uh, so now we are only one guppy item away from becoming guppy, and that is crazy. Plenty of curse rooms still available. We can use our unicorn horn to at least minimize the amount of damage we take from those, and we'll, we'll see what, what awaits us here. Still probably shouldn't make a habit of taking awful damage like that. This is a red chest, and there's also a secret room next to us, but I want to get a Unicorn Horn available first, just so I can, uh, you know, especially in a mob trap room, it's nice to have uh, invincibility, because some nasty stuff that goes on in there. Maybe I actually want to go to the mob trap room and save my uh, invincibility for the boss room instead. I don't know, it's a, it's a toss-up right now. Mob trap room might be a little bit tougher than the boss room, honestly, but... I do want to open that red chest and see if we have a chance to become... Oh, that was the worst dodging. I dodged right into it. Uh, see if I have a chance to become Guppy right away. I guess we'll check out our secret room first as well, because going to the shop could allow me to buy a spirit heart. You never know. Ooh, that's really good, actually. So Spider Bite is going to give us slowing on our shots. Now, we have a really weird situation. I didn't want to say bad, necessarily, but we're starting to build... Oh, snap. Never mind, we're Guppy. I was going to say, we're starting to build, like, the framework of a great run, but we don't have any HP. That's true. We actually just sacrificed half of a, a spirit heart, uh, and then I lost, you know, soon after, but uh, I lost uh, another half, I should say. Um, but we ha sacrificed half of a spirit heart to become Guppy, 
and uh, get nine lives. So I think we're in a very, very good position right now. The less we die, the better it is for us. I'll open that. Oh, snap! We got we became Guppy and got the compass on the same room! What are the freaking odds, man? That's great, but obviously our health is still a major concern. Uh, if we could just, you know, buy Book of Belial or something like that, that would, uh, or not Book of Belial, if we could buy Book of Revelations, uh, we would be in a fantastic position. We have been given a golden gift, and I don't want to lose it, um, but we probably, you know, just to keep your expectations realistic, we probably will lose at least a few lives on the rocky road to what I hope is eventually success. Certainly from a, an offensive standpoint, it's basically sorted for us. We're, um, we're in an incredibly good position. We have spider bite and crazy damage. We just have no HP. And that's something that we'll work on. Uh, I do think that Unicorn Horn is better than the Necronomicon, so... I think we just don't go to the shop on this floor, and that's okay. I'm really glad we opened that golden chest earlier, because it gave me the opportunity to get the compass. And, uh, we'll put our bomb down here. Oh, never mind. Uh, we'll, we'll kick that away. And I'll just leave then. I'm sorry I bothered you. I might try to fight the boss without uh, the Unicorn Horn, and then play Demon Judgment with uh, the Unicorn Horn so that I can get a few plays out of that, and maybe get a chance to get a free Deal with the Devil item, which would be awesome as hell. Um, things are going real well. We're fighting Pestilence, who is probably maybe the easiest boss that you can fight on this floor. We can fly, we're guppy, we do a ton of damage, our tears slow. Uh, it's a really great position to be in. So we pick up a second level cube of meat, and we're kind of in a nice position, because if we die, it doesn't really matter. We we still have eight lives left in the tank, so I don't really mind, uh, you know, losing our life here. That being said, I would love if Demon Judgment just paid out real soon. Oh my god, he did! It wasn't with a great item. Does full health actually work for us? Holy shit, I did not realize that full health actually takes you up, or, uh, takes you up to three Spirit Hearts. I just used the shovel because we can. Um, it actually could be fun to just try to speedrun the rest of the floor, but, uh, or the rest of the game. But I don't think we're in a confident enough position health-wise to really feel good about that, so... For now, let's just hold off, be a little bit more conservative, and, uh, obviously this has been a, a great run for us so far. I'm gonna check out our library because... Oh, it does have Book of Revelations! Basically guaranteeing ourselves a third level cube of meat. Not out of the woods yet from a, a health standpoint. We still have to make sure that we don't lose much health, but this is something that gives us a, a very good chance of success. This is when, when, whenever I say Blue Baby's overrated, this is the run you point to. I still think Blue Baby is overrated a little bit. People act like because it gets permanent Polaroid invincibility automatically, basically, as long as you make it that far into the game, like it's the most OP character. I really disagree with that. There's obviously there's room for uh, interpretation uh, in that, but uh, I think it's a real feast or famine. You either die before mom or around that area, or if you make it past mom, then you have a very good chance of success. But you know, making it to mom is not the easiest thing in the world always. We can get two free keys just by using this two of spades card, so in all likelihood, that is how I'll end up, uh, how I'll end up using that to make sure I can go to the item room here. Curse room is something I'll probably go to as well, because now it only costs half a spirit heart, so why not, right? Well, because it costs half a spirit heart is the reason why not, but still. Uh, red chest in the mob trap room, and no sex in the champagne room. Okay, let's try not to lose a whole spirit heart, that's like basically my entire book of revelations payout, just blown on, uh, silkworms, which is a pretty terrible way to lose health. And we've got turrets. The turrets are not going to have much of a problem. Ooh. If they just pop up. We'll probably fight our... Oh, flies. Come on, man. We'll probably fight our boss right away because there's basically no reason not to. Another red chest. I love red chests, man. They are going to hook us up with some really good stuff. Potentially. Oh, right. I forgot I didn't have a key. Now I do. Let's go check this out. Uh, Yum Heart. Obviously, maybe the worst item in the game when you're playing as Blue Baby. So be it, I suppose. We will go to that curse room, but why not fight the boss first, just in case we have a chance for an amazing deal with the devil. Now, uh, this is basically your ideal permutation of items for fighting Gertie. Uh, we slow them, or slow her, I guess I should say, because it is gendered. Um, we, and that means that it's going to summon things much less often, and also, it has a lot of HP. We do a staggering amount of damage, considering we're only on the caves part 2 as a result of our flies. We actually get a, an angel room. If this is Sacred Heart, holy shit. It's not, it's Guardian Angel. That's great because we're almost certainly going to lose a uh, second level cube of meat and get third and probably fourth level cube of meat, although that depends on whether or not we get the pony and all sorts of other nonsensical stuff. 
let's come down here and uh, yeah I still really want to go to the shop because you know nuns habit and battery and nine volt are huge uh, improvers of our chances of, of success not that they're terrible right now anyway but um, we, we can't so so be it I guess well that was well worth my time we've gained a lot of spirit hearts here and we head down to the next floor having received guardian angel a spirit heart, which is more or less meaningless, and a uh, book of revelations, which is basically the dream item for a run like this. Hopefully we can continue to uh, ignore our defensive concerns, or, you know, alleviate our defensive concerns, and uh, anything that improves our offense at this point is just gravy. Tons of red chests, man. Like, I, I think I underrate red chests sometimes because, you know, there's always the very visible examples of them like producing spiders or something like that and then if you take damage or troll bombs then if you take damage you're like oh I can't believe I got that but um holy water is, is terrible but no you know what let's not let's take a stand we're not picking up holy water this time uh before I go to this boss room I should guarantee myself the opportunity to fight war by making sure that I use book of revelations once. so let's not be an idiot we do want to get third and fourth level cube of meat I know a lot of people, and I mentioned this last episode because we got third level Cuban meat on that one without Book of Revelations. Well, we used it, but not uh, universally. Um, I know there's a lot of people that consider that uh, second level Cuban meat is better, and I'm going to mention this every single time, so just get used to it. I kind of disagree, and I think fourth level is uh, way better, so I'm going to go uh, and try to pursue my dream there. Uh, we get a troll bomb in here. It's only half a heart, no big deal. I think I will just go fight this mini boss because we're already up here. It's Ultra Pride, who normally drops the left hand. So uh, I'm interested to see what the payout from this is. It might just be a second left hand that I can't pick up. Maybe it's going to be a different trinket. I think also sometimes there's a tarot card drop. Can't quite remember. Uh, it's a probably the hardest mini boss in the game, but we're doing fine. Luckily for us, mostly because of our incredible damage. Second left hand and a red chest. How fitting, but nothing doing there. I, you know, I know we should fight our boss, but I also kind of feel like why not just finish the rest of the floor while we're here? Library is something that doesn't really interest me that much. I would love if this chest actually contained a red bomb for once, because that would give me the opportunity, or a, a live bomb, I should say, because it would actually give me the opportunity to open up this uh, tinted rock. It didn't. Give me a full health pill. I don't want to use that just in case there's some weird interaction. It takes me down to three spirit arts, which would obviously be near suicidal at this point. Should have used my bomb to get to the secret room, maybe, now that I know that there's no mini boss. But hopefully we'll get another bomb back. Oh, these guys will spawn bombs, but it's going to be very hard for me to control when the bombs actually die because the flies are just going to blow them up. Unless, right here, right here. Oh, this is going to be a little bit too far off. How about this one? Right here. Uh, it's not even close. I can't stop the flies from going in, so... Oh well. Um, sure, some spiders. No biggie. Take them out easy. Uh, there's our second secret room, which probably contains an eternal heart of basically no value. I, I really want to improve our standing here, but there's no way I can justify it without... Uh, yeah, there's no way I can justify going using our last key on the shop without 15 cents, so so be it. That's fine. Two full health pills is kind of comical at this point, I guess. Uh, I, I hate this room. hate everything about this room. Basically, I'm going to just try to generate as many flies as possible, and then uh, just by kind of hanging out, I'm pretty sure that my flies will take out most of the riffraff here, but they are going to target the, the masks, which is always frustrating, of course. Don't shoot again. Good. All right. Necropolis 1. I didn't even notice that it was Necropolis. That's a very good way to tell that uh, this run is going exceptionally well for us so far. And I, I hate to let Guppy down. I mean, look at that face on Guppy. It looks so happy. How can you... I'm not gonna feel good if I end up losing on this run because he's got that nice, nice little grin on. Okay, so we weirdly enough are fighting Conquest, who I consider to be maybe the well, not maybe, definitely the hardest horseman of the apocalypse to fight, but definitely also a huge piss off because you know you're expecting to get fourth level Meat Boy, instead you end up uh, you know getting the White Pony here, which is absolutely redundant for us except for the fact that it has the beams of light from heaven ability which is terrible uh, and mostly you just fight a harder boss for no gain instead of fighting an easier boss for uh, you know an arguable gain but also the infrastructure to take you to fourth level meat boy so um, it sucks it happens all the time though you can also fight the pony I think uh, instead of conquest I'd rather fight the pony just because it's a little bit easier but obviously we're making short work of conquest as well so I guess it's not so bad one more hit or so should do it. No deal with the death. Oh, we got to keep a meat there. Never mind. I disregard that. I don't know what I'm talking about. 
We still can't... I mean, there's another library for us. We still can't really go to the shop. I might just, like... Oh, I, I really thought that was going to be our uh, our boss room over here. It's actually a, a mini boss, which is really great, depending on what we can get from it. But uh, we'll check out our item room first. Item rooms have not been fantastic, but they haven't been terrible either. And we get Wiggle Worm, which I'm not even going to pick up because I never know how it synergizes with other items. Pride can give us Anarchist Cookbook or a Tarot card. Obviously, a Tarot card probably more my alley right now. Ah, that's exactly what I was hoping for. It's the Joker. The Joker gives us the opportunity to get the Pact, which is basically just like a gimme. Um, because we lose one Spirit Heart, all told, because we get two back from it. And we gain uh, an awful lot of damage, which is going to make our flies better as well. So, I am obviously hoping... Man, we've, getting, we've been getting a lot of red chests. I'm obviously hoping we get a little bit more money and another key. Uh, yeah, there was a chance that I could have... Not a chance, but there was a the option for me to pick up uh, the quarter. I didn't want to give up three spirit hearts for the quarter, though. I thought that was a pretty shitty deal. Uh, especially not knowing who we're going to end up you know, fighting on this floor, or whether there's going to be greed in the... Uh, the shop. Sorry, I, my brain got short-circuited there. There's a red chest in the second secret room. Nothing of value, unfortunately, but again, it's very difficult to complain about the way things are going here. Decent amount of health, soon we're going to have permanent Polaroid invincibility, our damage is out of control, and the more damage and tears upgrades we get, the, the better it gets at a very, very rapid pace. Uh, like, picking up the Pact is going to, like, drastically improve the amount of damage we do to everybody, not just uh, late-game bosses or anything like that, everybody. Um, so if we just hang out, this is actually an easier layout than the uh, earlier room that we fought like this, which scares me a little bit, because the easier the layout, the more likely I am to take damage historically, I think. But we did fine. Looking for more keys, more bombs. Red chest could blow up this tinted rock for me. I took some dumb damage there, but uh, Book of Revelations will make up for that. Two red chests. Wow, okay. One is two spirit hearts. That's awesome. One is bombs. They're not quite going to get close enough to blow up that tinted rock, though. And at this point, I'm kind of thinking maybe we just bum rush the boss room because I'm getting frustrated with the uh, the lack of consumables and we're already strong enough. It's like, you know, you can get frustrated with things if you're not doing well, but you still have to do them. You still have to go through the, the channels because you're, you know, desperate for success. Whereas us, we're in such a good position that uh, I can afford to cut a few corners uh, to improve my mental health. And uh, you probably hurt the mental health of my viewers, though, who are now going to rage at me like crazy, but whatever. I also left that full health pill behind. Uh, I probably should have taken that. Hopefully another one shows up. I didn't even remember leaving it behind, but now that I'm taking, like, inventory of my run, I notice that it's not here anymore. Uh, obviously, the mom fight's going exceptionally well here. That's fine. Uh, a few more flies should be enough to finish the J. And we get an HP upgrade, which is worthless, more or less. Maybe we end up winning by one, though, and that ends up saving our lives. Alright, wound part one. We know exactly where the boss room is, but what we don't know is how to get there. Saving bombs seems pretty prudent. And you should be, like, deceased. Thank you. More bombs and keys is what I really need right now. Especially keys, because we're definitely, uh, you know, strong candidates to go to the chest. If we don't end up going to the chest on this run, I'm going to be exceptionally disappointed. If we don't end up winning on this run, I'm going to be disappointed. But uh, at least we gave it, the, you know, our try if we get to the chest. If we somehow end up losing against Mom's heart or something, I'm going to be like, despondent. Beyond uh, consolation. Unconsolable, I guess, is the word that you would typically use for that. Uh, so we should, now that I've used Book of Revelations, we should have guaranteed ourselves a uh, fourth level Meat Boy, which is going to be a nice little uh, damage bonus. Got a Spirit Heart from killing Larry Jr. there. And now we're fighting the Pony, but hopefully the Pony, uh, you know, as mentioned, or as happened with Conquest, actually ends up dropping uh, a cube of meat instead of the uh, Pony itself, which is terrible. And we certainly don't need that. Unfortunately, that's not the case. Oh well. We finished this floor in record time, and it's on to the next floor, where, again, I don't really anticipate anything getting in my way. Yes, there's demon judgments. Yes, there's blood banks. Yes, there's a boss trap room. But look at the uh, path that they've just set me out here on. Uh, or set me on here out. That is a very weird sentence to start with. But uh, basically, two rooms of enemies away from the boss room. I am just going to uh, bum rush this as quickly as I can, and we're going to make some really rapid progress here. Uh, towards the cathedral, which is where things maybe start to get a little bit more real, but I still expect that it should be relatively easy. The only thing I'm concerned about really is getting worn down at this point. Uh, you know, we're, we're not gonna die on one room. How it's gonna happen is we're gonna take a lot of damage 
uh, over the course of several rooms, and that's going to be what kills us if we end up dying on this run. But uh, obviously, you know, fighting against uh, the enemies we're fighting against right now is not exceptionally difficult. I still have to use bombs uh, for crowd control, which sucks, but whatever. What it, it is what it is. Uh, we should be able to get Mom into permanent bomb state. Uh, very close. Before Chubb comes out, at the very least. Uh, fourth level Meepo, seriously, man. There we go. Now we'll just kind of hang out and uh, avoid the bullets that come from those flies. I, the Suze guy, didn't even stand a chance because of my autonomous fly army. And it's up to the next floor. No bombs for the Isaac fight. Not the end of the world. Uh, I really, really would prefer if I could get uh, Monstro 2 to actually shoot the laser beam instead and I almost got behind him there but I had to actually take the more risky approach and get in front of him and he'll be dead real real soon. Easy fight. Uh, if you can beat Monstro 2 easily that's really nice because double Monstro 2 is one of the few rooms uh, left in the game that still scares me in spite of the fact that it, it shouldn't be so bad. Or in, sp in spite of the fact that every other room is basically our bitch is what I was trying to say there in more polite terms. Now uh, if we just... Uh, we just kind of hang out here. Uh, obviously, the flies are our, my main uh, damage doer, so our inability to hit them here is what's bothering me a little bit. But if I just stand still... Yeah, flies got it. Didn't do as much damage as I hoped, I guess, but whatever. Just back it up, and pretty soon we should be good to go here. I guess maybe I should try to slow it so that the flies have a better chance to hit it. Doesn't seem to work. I'm telling you, man, one of these days, there we go. Golden chest is, uh, unfortunately, off the table for now. Ah, uh, here we go. So double, mo or single monster two is, uh, at this point, basically the easiest room we can get as long as we spawn in a position that's favorable to start him uh, on just basically scamming him and stun locking him the whole time. More money might actually be useful if you come across a judgment, although it's unlikely. Okay, secret room, uh, double greed, and uh, mob trap room here, without any bombs. It's the second secret room, but without any bombs, we can't open it anyway. So let's not get too far ahead of ourselves. Steam sales worthless, money may be important, and our uh, mob trap room is a golden chest. Just not worth um, the damage we'd probably take inside of there. It's still up in the air, we could still lose this, but permanent Polaroid invincibility makes this... Uh, such an attractive kind of position for us to be in. The fact that we slow enemies is going to be really nice for that late game boss run, but tarot card, justice. Totally fine, let's use it right away. Sometimes justice gives you a spirit heart, I think. I hope that's not just like, um, you know, convenient misremembering. Also, my favorite song by The Shins, but we just... I, I was very wary about walking over that creek for some reason. You'd think by this point in the run I would have internalized that I can actually fly, but... Oh well. More progress. This is the ultimate chain reaction room. Probably walked a little bit too close to the sun there, but that's okay. Two spirit heart gain is big. We can trade one of those spirit hearts away on the curse room. Why not? Like, let's get, try to get a little bit even greater now. No. Double spiders. That's a, a rare payout. Typically, you only get one uh, of each on a chest. Like, you, you typically don't get two of the same thing, is what I was trying to say before I lost the ability to speak speak English due to, like, atrophy of my broca's area or something. Uh, a couple more uh, attacks here should be good. Red chests always have the potential to be very nice as well. Now, uh, probably will end up taking damage on this room. What my ideal play is is just stay the fuck away from everything, but obviously I botched that ever so slightly. Cool! Uh, Isaac boss fight is kind of our first test here in a while. Don't want to get too close. Don't want to get hit. I do have Guardian Angel, but, um, you know, that's not fantastic when you don't have other orbitals to go along with it, but it will do some damage when we go up there and, and just go to town on him. Um, I'm not doing as much damage as I thought I would be doing. This might be like a five or six damage uh, fight for me, which is actually, you know, kind of bad, but it still does put us in a, a position where we should have more than enough health to beat, uh, oh my god. We should have more than enough health to beat Blue Baby. We'll see what we get in our items in the chest. Uh, whatever, like 100% for sure, we're going to beat Isaac. Uh, he's not even spawning angel fetuses. That's a sign of a man that has just give, given up on life. There's the angel fetuses. Maybe he decided to have a brief renaissance at the end. But, Meepoy takes care of that. And we still have 11 and a half spirit hearts. Uh, and, poison touch is fantastic. That alone might guarantee us the win. Dead Sea Scrolls is terrible, of course. The magnet also pretty bad at this point. Monstrous Tooth is garbage. Might actually end up crushing me. I thought that might be possible. Uh, I'm gonna need to check out the secret room. You never know, maybe there's an onk or something in there. Could make a big difference. It's just three pennies. You never know, could make a big difference. Next run. But for now, 
we have probably seven or eight rooms to go, and then uh, what I imagine is going to be a fairly easy boss fight. By way of Poison Touch, uh, as you can see right there, I'm doing a decent amount of damage. Really, really want to not take very much damage on the way to this fight, though, because again, could be a six or seven damage fight. Uh, I ideally want to go in with basically the amount of health that I have right now, or more. That's a theoretical possibility because of the... Uh, or obviously, because we have Book of Revelations, it's a theoretical possibility. Probably not too realistic as I continue taking like really stupid damage here. Uh, but I don't know. I I want to be optimistic here. Thank God we didn't get hit there. Mr. Mega is actually a pretty good pickup. We can use more bombs as we are um, under invincibility. I think we're way too slow to get out of the way of these lusts. I almost feel like the best thing to do is just kind of hang out, keep them trapped, uh, and ah, the slow. Of course, that helps out a great deal. Bombs are key. Not worth anything right now. Two more rooms to go to get to our boss. Uh, and we probably want to kill Sloth last, but that's almost in some ways in the hands of our flies. There we go. Uh, let's aim at Envy next. Meat Boy, thankfully, is going for... Or, sorry, Wrath. Meat Boy's going for Wrath as well. I accidentally almost killed Sloth there. He got pretty close. Judgment! That's a really good card. It is not a Demon Judgment, so this is a free payout for us. Lucky me. Even uh, at this point, an HP upgrade is actually pretty worthwhile. But we'll see what he gives us. If he gives us anything. Because it isn't a foregone conclusion. It's just very, very likely. Uh, okay, bum friend. I'm not even going to pick that up just because I'm so pissed that we got it. <laughs> now, uh, Gluttony was nice enough to kill Lust for us very easily. And I'm going to try to kill Gluttony before Meat Boy kills Sloth. And it worked out. Not by a ton, but it worked out. And we'll get another... Ah, two of clubs. That's actually going to take us up, up to 16 bombs. So we should be totally fine for this fight. I should be able to tank it. But I might as well bank as much free damage as I can before I, yeah, start the chain of permanent Polaroid invincibility. And then, you know, poison him and drop mega bombs in there. Uh, it's potentially a little tight here. That was some slick dodging until I totally blew it. I, again, basically 100% think we're totally fine. Uh, but it's not a guarantee yet. We are 50% of the way through his health, and we've only been hit twice. That's way less than 50% of our health. And, uh, every Mr. Mega and poisoning from permanent Polaroid invincibility and, uh, poison touch basically solves another 10% of his health for us. Make sure you bump into him, otherwise it's just a waste. And we're totally fine. That was a really fun run. It was a really quick run. I had a really good time there. Blue Baby, maybe not so bad as I thought. Not as bad as I thought, I should say. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to show your support by clicking the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.